Today we're gonna be renaming our boat and we have never been through this process. We've done some research. We know, you know, champagne and stuff is involved and we're gonna give it our best shot and hope that Poseidon likes us and accepts our name change. So we've already messed it up a little bit. We brought the new name on before the old name was off. That's true, but it is like in a box. We didn't open it yet. Yeah, so it's technically covered, it's so it's covered. fine, dude. Yeah, it's fine. Except the Coast Guard documentation, that's not covered. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the new name is on the boat. We messed that up. But, you know, we had a lot to do before we even got to the renaming part, so we're doing our best. And I'm only a little stitious. I'm mega stitious. Oh, sheesh, y'all. I'm just kidding. That <laughs> averages us to super stitious. <laughs> this first step of this process is gonna re be removing the boat's current name, Mary, so we gotta get all the decals off the boat. Because we're out in a mooring field, the easiest way to get the name off the side was to hop into the dinghy and scoot ourselves around the boat. Where's the dinghy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been funny if you just fell right in. <laughs> what? I'm getting us to the other side. I appreciate it. Thank you. I like your hat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and not the smoothest process, but we got it done. Yeah. All the decals are off. Yep, now we got these weird marks from uh where her name was before. Next, you're supposed to write the current name on a metal tag with a water-soluble pen so that the water can wash it away. Or Poseidon can wash it away, excuse me. <laughs> so that Poseidon can wash away the ink. It says a metal ingot, um, but I feel like I've, nobody has ingots hanging around. <laughs> so now we just use tags. O mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage, I implore you and your graciousness to expunge for all time from your records and recollection the name Mary, which has ceased to be an entity in your kingdom. As proof thereof, we submit this ingot bearing her name to be corrupted through your powers and forever be purged from the sea. In grateful acknowledgement of your munificence and dispensation, we offer these libations to your majesty and your court. O mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage, I implore you in your graciousness to take onto your records and recollection this worthy vessel hereafter and for all time known as Talia, guarding her with your mighty arm and trident and ensuring her safe and rapid passage throughout her journeys within your realm. In appreciation of your munificence, dispensation, and in honor of your greatness, we offer these libations to your majesty and your court. O mighty rulers of the wind, through whose power our frail vessels traverse the wild and faceless deep, we implore you to grant this worthy vessel, Talia, the benefits and pleasures of your bounty, ensuring us of your gentle ministration according to our needs. Great Boreas, exalted ruler of the North Wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your frigid breath. Great Zephyrus, exalted ruler of the West Wind, Grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your wild breath. Great Eurus, exalted ruler of the east wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your mighty breath. Great Notus, exalted ruler of the south wind, Grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your scalding breath.
And look, the sun's coming out. Yay! She accepted. It was getting stormy. It was getting kind of scary. Yeah, I was they a little worried for a second there, but a little bit of sunshine. Now we right through. when we finish, the sun comes out. That That's feels a good, good. sign. Yeah, yeah, that feels good. So renaming ceremony done. We just got to put the new name on. You did a great job, love. Thank you. It was a lot of prayers. Welcome home, Talia. <laughs> so we finished the ceremony. I think we're okay to undo the vinyls with the new name, Talia. I've had this for like a month. <laughs> they haven't opened it yet. It's been a process. <laughs> okay, here we go. At this point, I was realizing they sent us the wrong font, and I was really regretting not opening this box up sooner. I'm dropping them. Um, I think they sent us the wrong font, because this is like way more slanted and cursive, and I don't think it's gonna be like legible enough to read. Yeah, like Coast Guard approved kind of. Yeah. I mean, other people have some weird fonts too, I guess. But I don't know, we might need to actually take a pause and order some new ones or go pick up letters or something. This looks good. That looks good, yeah. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Yeah, this part looks good. Okay. Well, that's well, a bummer. Let's go look at what we got. And then... Um, now our boat just has no name. Well, she does have a name, it's just not on her. Temporarily, yeah. yeah. We're getting waked. <laughs> We decided to put up our hailing port and our name, Talia, on the back, even though it was the wrong font. We thought it was better to have the wrong font for a few days than to leave it blank. It's been a few days since we renamed the boat, and uh, this was, if you remember, the font that they sent us. We contacted the company, and they did send us the one that we ordered. Oops much easier to read. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and replace um, the one on the back and put these ones on the side. Really solid um, response from the company. Can't complain too much, no. mistakes happen. We did work on the tow rail a bit, so tempting to tackle this tow rail, get it nice and pretty. If that looks a little different, that's why. We're working on it, brightening it up and getting it nice and oiled. And that also led to us having some pretty gnarly sunburns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you gonna put suntan lotion on, love? Suntan lotion? Sorry, sunscreen on, sunscreen on. Ah! <laughs> I was trying to record you falling into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It would have been funny if you fell on the water. <laughs> we just do a little manual scooch. There's not a lot of wind or anything. And we scooch. Oh my God, and we scooch. <laughs> Look at that nice tow rail. It needs a little bit more loving. She's looking better than she was. For some reason, this side of the boat was way more difficult, and we had a lot of trouble getting the vinyl to stick. Hey, you want to talk to the camera? No, I'm pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it's just not sticking at all on this side. I don't know if it's like, it's like we wiped it off beforehand, but it might be some oil from like the tow rail maybe? I don't know. But it just does not seem to be sticking at all. Just going for a quick swap of the name from the weird old cursive one to this newer, more legible one.
only get better at it, you know? Very nice. Do you think you can do the shake thing? I uh, could try. <laughs> no. <laughs> My bountiful, beautiful wife. Bountiful? Like, like the harvest. Yeah.